All right, welcome back. This is Germany around 17. So the state of the board, the Japan moves into Persia and Sinkang caused all the Russians in Kazakh to move in back into Russia, caused a full retreat. If I anticipate United Kingdom's turn, this stuff here should also either retreat to Germany or go back to the Caucasus. Can't imagine he'll go back to the Caucasus because I calculated this. I can kill it easily. But I think the play actually is for Japan to take the Kazakh next turn with all of this stuff. And then Caucasus in round 19. And then we'll have a foothold right on uh, Russia's doorstep. And we should be able to punch some troops into Germany if they're still alive. That's the problem. So I may have to either take a bomber or a fighter and fly it somewhere else that's uh, that's safe. So that in case I do liberate Germany, I can build with Germany again if I lose it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But I think the best way to do it is with a plane. A bomber, obviously, I can fly. I can keep it safe. I can fly it all the way over here to uh, Asia over here. But maybe, so maybe, I will fly these bombers. I don't know. Probably not this turn. I think they'll last one more turn, but I'm not sure. But what we have to do is build three more. We have to build three more units and repair uh, Germany again. He lost a bomber raiding it last time. So the more bombers he loses, uh, it's better for us. At some point, I can probably try to start bombing the shit out of the United Kingdom, but at this point, I want to keep the bombers. So I'm not going to do that right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is buy three more infantries for Italy. And then we're going to repair Germany so we can... Let's see here. I got two more units. I can buy an artillery and an infantry for Germany. So I can buy an artillery and an infantry for Germany. And that takes up all my units. Um, at some point, he's going to... Uh, he's going to attack Germany, and we're not going to have enough to defend it. So... I might uh, fly one of these bombers out of here, over here somewhere. So let's see what we do first. So our combat move, though, we're going to take one guy and attack there, and one guy and attack there. We'll take two bombers and two bombers. We'll take three fighters and two fighters. And the reason we're using three here is because if we liberate this one, as long as we kill this guy, then unless he uses a tank to come take these back, he doesn't have just an infantry to move in quick and recapture this. So even if we don't capture it, next turn we can move an infantry in there and capture it if we have any of these things left. So, and if they move one here, two... Three, four, five. I'll, I think I'll do it. I think I'll put the bomber here. A couple of them anyway. Um, so that they can live. So I have some German units at the end of whenever this is done. Obviously, ideally, if we can push with Japan into the Caucasus and take the Caucasus and hold it. We can start helping Germany out with troops here. USA has a tremendous stack. Um, and Russia obviously is still building, but their income is not very high right now. I mean, well, it's decent. It's, what, 22. So that's still good for, at this point of the game, 17 turns in for Russia. That means I haven't done anything against Russia. So considering uh, Germany's production is only 23. So that ought to tell you how I'm doing and how Mannix is doing. But once we get a foothold in the Caucasus, 
we're going to still move troops, start producing mass producing troops over here. And he, you know what? He took back Africa. He took back Madagascar, which I'm really disappointed. I, I didn't anticipate this transport, and I should have, because that should have been mine for a few turns, but he took it easily. So I've lost all my gains in Africa with him just using three infantries and a transport, which, oh, he had a bomber here, but that's an excellent use on his part and pretty poor planning on my part. So who knows? I'll focus on, I'm, we're going we're gonna to hammer uh, Eastern Australia next turn, kill that, and then uh, see what we can do in the Pacific. Because he's got this, but... We're okay as far as that goes, and these are okay. So, back to Germany. Hopefully this works, and we capture these territories back, and we can hold Germany for one more turn, maybe. So, we'll see what happens. I anticipate we're going to kill the troops in there. We just may not be able to take the territories. And that was the one, that was the big one. All right. All right, so let's do this. Let's take these planes back to Germany. And let's take, let's see here, these two bombers. Go back to Germany. And these two bombers, we'll put them in India. see one two three hmm you might go after him with the nine planes all right so let's not put him in India but I don't think he'll go for him um, here and I'll have significant amount of extra troops here so I don't think he'll do well wait a minute here what these here these nine planes one two three they couldn't do it anyway See, I have nowhere to land, so take that back. I'm overthinking it again. Let's put them in India. Then we can use them to maybe kill this transport and maybe take back Africa. So and we'll try that. Because the planes here, if he uses them, he can't land anywhere. So, and if Germany falls, I want to have uh, somebody in I want to have some Germans in case we recapture it so all right so there's that there I'm going to put an artillery and a guy and then three guys in India in uh, Italy Uh, we're still, I don't know. I think we're still going to lose if he attacks it with uh, USA. I think we will still lose Germany. I haven't done the math yet. I'm going to run the numbers. Oh, wait a minute, this USA bomber. One, two, three. Okay, the bomber can get there by itself. But I don't think the bomber's going to risk getting killed just to take out these two bombers but maybe he will I don't know we'll see maybe we can give him something else to think about so anyway we finished our turn uh, what did we end up with here money wise 25 okay that's not terrible so that ends Germany's round 17. Maddox is up for UK round 17, and I'll see you back for Japan round 17. Okay, jumping on for round 17, UK. So this is the, the preparation round, uh, penultimate round, just before the, the big assault in Berlin. So yeah, just got to get everything into position pretty much, and uh, full, <laughs> full retreat with the, uh, the UK forces in Kazakh. So purchases of this round will be four infantry, uh, three tanks, one artillery. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take a Northwestern. I think at this point it just it's more important just to have pure numbers up front. 
so I'm not going to bother taking any of this because it's, it's not necessary. If we take Berlin, then we'll get this anyway, so there's no point trying to grab this at this point. We'll just, uh, we'll just stack Berlin, uh, Baltic State, sorry. So I think... Why is this here? I'm curious. Oops. Sorry, one infantry, two bombers, two fighters went to attack Poland. Right. Why did they end up here? <laughs> this is why I'm asking. <laughs> That's very confusing. Why are they here? Is it just, oh, is it just for this transport, I think, maybe? I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, I'm not quite sure they're there. Interesting. And maybe just because the Japanese don't have any bombers, which I think is... Yeah, that's true, actually. They don't have any bombers. So it may just be there to help out here, you know, defend against the old transport movement. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything that can reach... Uh, ah, that's annoying, actually. He's got... Ooh, that's actually really annoying. He's got six fighters that could potentially reach Berlin um, before the US attacks. The UK can attack without them there, which is good. They're not in range. Uh, they won't be in range by UK 18, but they will be in Berlin probably by uh, US 18, which is unfortunate. So they're going to have a few reinforcements from uh, Japan. But I'm hoping by that point it won't matter too much. I think even even the presence of six extra fighters shouldn't make that much of a dif difference, I'm hoping. Uh, that's just a, a guess though, but I think I'm fairly confident. I mean we've got a good we've got good numbers, very good numbers. I think by the time we get everything together we're gonna have pretty much pretty much equal land units for the UK and um, Germany. And then obviously we've got beyond that we've got like eighty, so yeah, we're, we're more than fine. Berlin's gonna fall. I think if it doesn't it'll be pretty much miraculous dice to be honest <laughs> so um, it's probably actually even a good thing that these guys are in range because it means we can probably if he goes for the defense um, prior to the US attack then we'll be able to snag six extra fighters I don't think he'll do that I think he'll probably just try and keep them alive just for Moscow that's what I'm guessing um, but I think either way it's, it works for me so it's not, it's not a problem anyway sorry too much waffle let's get on let's crack on so very little to do this round um, Nothing realistically we can hit. I think we may as well want to, we may as well hit this, I suppose. It's one less defender for Berlin. Um, and it's one less guy that's gonna just push out here maybe. And plus we've got like a crap ton of planes that are not doing anything right now, so <laughs> we may as well use them for an attack. So we'll, we'll just send, send the entire load uh, towards uh, Poland. Why not? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just fell. Okay, that looks good to me. Let's go with that, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can still range this. I was thinking it might be nice to put the move the planes around a bit or move some of the fleet around, but we can't because these guys are still in range, unfortunately. That's a very rare occurrence. Okay, cool. That's actually a bone if you took it. I didn't really need to, but... Oh, that's careful, careful, careful. Can I cancel this? Yeah, there you go. Right, let's put two back on the fleet and we'll just... Oh, we can't. I'm hoping that's not going to trip us up later, actually. that's That may have been a misplay from me. Although, no, it wasn't. We had one from the fleet before, didn't we? That's fine. That's fine. Stop worrying. You're fine. So, big pylon into the Baltic States. Looking good. So, we've got nine tanks in range, which is cool. So yeah, pretty substantial attacking force we've got here with, with the UK. Like I said, I think I'll try and pull out before I, they, he starts. I'm assuming we're going to lose the fight. I'm not, I've not done calculations. I don't know what he can potentially bring versus what I can bring. I've not calculated it. But I'm assuming we're going to lose the fight. So I'm going to try and pull out before we start denting our plane numbers. And then we'll just let the US finish off with a huge stack of infantry. So that'll be the best way to do it. And then obviously whatever's left over aircraft wise can fly straight to Moscow and try and hold that while we get the infantry numbers up. So that is the game plan. Let's see how we do. Quite looking forward to this. It's always nice to have a you know a fun battle to finish. Uh, 
after a long build. It's been quite a long game, 17 rounds. Um, but yeah, I think we are getting towards the conclusion now. So how are we looking number-wise? That we're looking so 33. Yeah. Yeah, we're there. We're there. Just wondering how much you can build next round. 25 IPC, so not a huge amount. And some repairs, that's fantastic actually. So, um, he'll probably just move these three in and then just repair what he can. And so, actually, what can you buy? 25. Eight repairs. Oh, it's, only, it's only eight, so we can deploy two there already. Okay. Yeah, we put a few down. But yeah, I don't think it will matter too much. Anyway, there we go. That's my UK. The last UK move before the big, the big assault. <laughs> so I'll see you back for uh, US 17. All right, welcome back. This is Japan round 17. Uh, before we get into Japan's round 17, I just want to touch on something. I think I made a pretty big mistake in Germany's round 17. Which is, if I did the math, I know these guys are hiding, they're kind of tucked in, but he's got 56 or 58 uh, American infantries, four artilleries, a tank, a bunch of planes, he's got three transports here, a battleship. Um, I think that he can take Germany uh, with all of his American stuff that he has. I'm pretty sure he can take Germany with all the stuff that he has. So what I should have done last turn when I moved out the bombers is I should have I should have abandoned Germany, I think. I mean, I don't it's not the ideal thing because you're giving up basically three victory cities and it's it's not good, but it's going to leave me with a problem here because now Now that I've kept, I've decided to keep German troops alive. Although these guys will all be dead next turn, so I may not, uh, I may have a solution. As long as German troops are alive, any of these territories that we liberate go back to Germany. Well, if he has Berlin, they go back to nobody, and so they don't get the money, but nobody gets the money. So uh, I probably should have decided to just abandon it. To keep this is a significant amount of material here if I can move it towards Moscow. Um, it would probably be helpful. So if USA uh, this turn does not attack Berlin, I'm gonna have to strongly consider abandoning Germany in round 18. Just based on all of the stuff that he has, I think that he can take it. I'm pretty sure he can take it. So um anyway. That's just a quick note on kind of a mistake that I think I made. Japan's turn is relatively simple. We're just going to start buying additional troops for the mainland. We're going to buy one more plane for uh, Japan just to throw over to this fleet here. Because once we do decide to take Hawaii, one plane here gives me a 95% chance to defend against this stuff here. And that's what we're looking for right now. So... We're going to consolidate some of these guys and we're going to take Kazakh and we're going to take, uh, we're going to throw a couple tanks, take Transjordan in Egypt and make him either commit a bomber over there to uh, try to take it back with a fighter um, or maybe they won't try to take it back and we can use those tanks to get some more IPCs here. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, we're going to buy two infantry and an artillery for India, two infantry for Kuang Tung, three infantry for Manchuria. Wait a minute. I did this wrong. Hold on a second here. Three, five, eight. So I want seven and one. So that goes there. Then I'm going to buy one plane. And I'm going to buy four more guys. For mainland Japan. So 11, one and a plane. That's going to be our buy. All 
All right, for the combat move, we are going to take two of these tanks and go into Egypt. We're going to take one guy and take the Caucasus. We're going to take 31 guys, 13 uh, artilleries. I'm going to take all those. We're going to take the 30 of those guys, the 9 of those artilleries. We're going to take... That's it. And that's all we're going to move into Kazakh. The idea is we're going to take Kazakh this turn, move everything into the Caucasus next turn. Uh, let's see here. I think that's it. That's it for combat. We're going to save our troops and not take any of these yet. So that's all we're going to do for combat. All right. All right, for the non-com. Move one guy there. We're going to move the five guys there. The eight guys there. The two planes there. The three tanks there. The two tanks from there. Well, these five guys are going to go down there. Right? Yeah. All right. We're going to take this transport. We're going to move him up to C-Zone 49. We're going to move one there, pick up this guy, and drop him in uh, the Caroline Islands, I think. We're going to take another guy, go there, pick up that guy, drop him in the Caroline Islands. We're going to take the last one, go up there. Oh, no, that's not. We don't want to do that. So... Forget this one. We're going to take... Everything's out of reach now, so we can still just leave these guys in here. We'll take... Uh, I don't think he has even any planes. What about these bombers? One, two, three, four, five... Six. I just don't. I just want to know if a one can get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think so. All right. What do we got there? Sixty-one, twenty-two, and eight. Against seventy-four, sixteen, and two. I think I can survive that. I hope I can. But like I said, we may be almost done if Germany falls. Uh, in the USA's round 17, which I think it might. So it, this may be all for naught. So we shall see. Anyway, what about these? Uh, we're going to leave everything the way they are, I think. So we took everything else. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I want to do. We'll take this guy here, go here, take this guy. Oops. Put him here. All right. So I think everything's going to be done like that. All right. I, I knew there was something I wanted to do with this guy here. So all of our troops have been consolidated onto the Caroline Islands. And I think that is going to be it. Where's his nine fighters? He doesn't have them here, but I think he's going to move them all back there, obviously, against this thing here. Maybe not. Where are his... Oh, they're right there. He's going to kill... He's going to use... Well, that's the thing. If he doesn't use the Americans, if he does the one-two, if he's going to plan for round um, 18 to do it and do the British troops first and then the Americans, um, we're going to end. We're going to take all these out and, and flee Germany. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, I think that's going to do it. 
Mm. All right. All right, so the fighter goes in mainland Japan. The artillery goes in India. And then everything else is guys. Two guys in India. Two guys in Kuangtung. Three guys in Manchuria. Four guys in mainland Japan. So, that is it. Uh, our national production went up quite a bit. Which is nice. Uh, it would be also would be really nice to uh, to take uh, Eastern Australia, but we'll have to see. And he's got these guys here. He's, he's going to do something with these bombers. Um, but I think he's just leaving these here until I make a move to Hawaii. So anyway, we'll see. Sorry, that turn took a long time of me talking. And mo mostly me speculating, so we'll see what happens. Um, all this crap is going to go into the Caucasus. And these five tanks will also go, I'm so, yeah, into the Caucasus next turn. Um, if we are able. So, that is it for Japan's round 17. Manic is up next for USA round 17 and Russia round 18. And then I will see you back... Uh, for Germany round 18, even if I lose Berlin, I'll have these two bombers here. So I will have uh, I will have at least one move to make for Germany. So we will see you then. Okay, back for you, US 17. So just looking at the board here, Japan's obviously combined the stack into uh, one in Kazakh, which makes sense. Um, I've not done the odds on this. I don't think we should be in danger this round. Possibly next. 83, 91, 96. There is over 100 units attacking it, but I think we've got more than that defending. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. And it, if we lose it, it's not a huge deal. I'm expecting Moscow to fall. If we don't lose Moscow, that's going to be quite a surprise. Um, so I do think the Japanese can take Moscow, but obviously in doing so, they, they will lose a shit ton of infantry. Um, so that's going to be the key point. They're just trying to defend it here, is just make them, you know bleed them out as much as possible so when the stack the US stack after finishing Berlin turns around they're gonna have an easier time you know pressuring Moscow I've also noticed that I expected this to happen as well <laughs> I must yeah it's kind of annoying for me to deal with I think I might I could try, one two three four I could try and kill this I guess sacking a transport might be worth it otherwise it will be kind of annoying to deal with yeah, I kind of have to react to this, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I have to put some... It's troops going away from the assault on Berlin, which I don't like, but I think, given the odds, I think we should be fine to do that. I think we probably have to. So I think I'll, I'll try and kill it. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here's a good spot. Not really, because <laughs> this, this, I think it's the, wherever the bomber lands, these bombers can range it, I'm thinking. Um, so maybe we just sack a, I don't know, maybe just sack a bomber, I guess. We'll try, we'll try. It may die in the fight, I mean, I'd, I'd like to kill these tanks, even at the cost of a bomber would be fine. Just to slow this down, so they're going to lose, we're going to lose a lot of income here if we don't kill these two tanks, so let's try it. Anyway, my secondary thought is the Japanese are heavily indicating they're going to go for Alaska again. Uh, I don't have the force to repel this just yet. Um, I can prevent the landing just for now because they've got the fleets aren't in range of 64, which is good. I'm thinking they're obviously going to stack Hawaii. That makes sense to deny me another victory city, which is, is totally fine. Uh, that's, that, that's cool. But the push against Western is something I have to probably prep for. Because there is, what, there's four units here. There's a good 11 units ready for this. So I'm going to just because we're not exactly building much over here, I'm going to probably build a few infantry in uh, Corellia just for the preparing for the future, basically. But, well, maybe a tank, actually. Tank's better. But, 
I'm going to put, generally speaking, a few infantry over here as well, and the spares that don't get picked up this round. I'll probably move towards uh, Canada, or, you know, Western Canada, to try and uh, prepare somewhat for this invasion if it does happen. So I don't want it to happen. It'd be quite annoying to do it, so. See what I can do. Anyway, that's my plan. And one fighter as well. Why not? So, um, I guess we try it. It's not great. I've not done the odds on this, but I don't think it's going to be comfortable. I'm curious, what actually is it going to be? Bomber. Two tanks. Guessing like 30% on our favour. Oh no, it's actually really good. 75% pretty much. Surprising. Okay. So, um... Oh, we could even guarantee it pretty much. But again, that's sacrificing two two of our heaviest units in the fight. I don't want to do that. I think this is worth it just for one, just to try and clear these two out. Again, we don't need to take Egypt. We just need to destroy the tanks. That's fine. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be all the attacking we do, I think, here. So, fingers crossed. Unlikely, but... Better than usual for the in-game. Nice. That's fantastic. Oh, it's even better. We can take Egypt. That's fantastic. I was not expecting that result, I'll be honest. Awesome. So this is, uh... Hang on. One, two, three, four... Five, they can't, actually they can't cover it, so one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not in range of Berlin, unfortunately, but it does give us, hopefully this bomber, well, it gives us a bomber back, I thought we were going to lose this. One, two, three, four, yeah, there is no, there is no spot for it, fantastic, okay. Well, that was a huge bonus. <laughs> Let's bring, um, maybe just one then, we've got four units alive as it is now that's going to be nothing for something let's bring the majority back then i think just towards berlin that still is the game plan we're obviously leaving the three here because we want to pick up all we can for the, the final assault that's all going to stay and the rest can obviously move this way now all the stragglers can move this way um bombers as well will come across uh, we'll go yeah, it should be fine so the final uh, the final numbers are in. Made our preparations as best we can for the for the assault. What I'm curious about one, two, three, four. Yeah, they can't. He's not prepped these fighters for um, going to Berlin, which is a good thing for me. Um, well, I say that. I still think we could have killed them if they were in there anyway. So he's going. Obviously, he's thinking about Moscow, which makes sense. Um, now, depending on odds, I may be tempted to fly some fighters in next round instead of using them in the fight we'll see how it goes again the UK's got a, a huge number of troops well not huge but he's got a lot of troops that they're going to be attacking with so there is potential for us to wipe out a big chunk if we get lucky on dice before the UK the US have even moved so if it is pretty much a foregone conclusion we're going to win the fight then I might just save all the fighters to ignore the anti-air guns uh, depending if he uses them on he, he should have them on die first but if he doesn't and he saves them to the end, then I'm not going to risk American Air going after a target that's already beaten. So we'll fly everything into Moscow to try and delay that being taken. Again, we'll see. Lots of up in the air uh, decisions just yet. Let's do that. So let's go tank. Fighter. Interesting that there's actually no planes in this fleet at all, so this sea zone is still completely fine. So let's do this. I may as well just put, we'll put an infantry there. Now. The rest we'll just put over here, just in preparation. Okay. And actually, two of these can probably be picked up again if we want them to by this transport. Okay. So, how are we looking? End of round 17, 508 for the Allies, 374 for the Axis. Penalty is still the strongest power, 52 IPC, national production is still pretty good. Um, but hopefully the Americans will be getting a big a big payday soon with all of this. 
and they're trying to avoid taking anything else just the UK. Or, uh, the UK's already got Central Europe, they've got a, a lot more than they should have here really. Um, but yeah, I'll try and leave the rest for the Americans because it's more important they have the income. So again, max numbers from, from Moscow here. Um, I guess we could try... I might as well just use one infantry and try and hit this and then either a, a forward deployment zone that's going to help us out. I think that's worth trying to spend an infantry for. Not more than that though. That's too, too much. Okay. So fingers crossed. Oh well. Well actually the UK can pick it up, can't they? That's actually not too bad. <laughs> we still end up spending two infantry I suppose, but I, I think it's worth it for just... Uh... Yeah, it's probably worth it. Spending two to the knife fall, I guess. That's the way to look at it. Seven straight in. So let's just have a look at what we've got then. We have 96 Russians. 98. Okay. <laughs> 217 plus fighters. I think, yeah, I think we should be okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be no reinforcements from the the UK before the Rus before the Japanese attack because we need everything everything available to go from Moscow. Um, I can't even speak Berlin, sorry. So there will this will be the final defence of Moscow if he was if he was to go for it. So um, I'm expecting him probably just to delay it for one more round, I think, and allow these units to catch up. I think this probably should give him odds if it hasn't already. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll do the calculation when we actually get to the time. And just give us an idea of what happens. But again, this is not crucial. Berlin's crucial. Apart from that, we're fine. So anyway, back to uh, back to Cobra. <laughs> 